Good morning. I am Kuneni Moswela, the Director of Ceremony for the Khaburoni University College of Law and Professional Studies Virtual Graduation Ceremony of the Completing Class of 2020 and 2021. I welcome you all to this wonderful event. Honorable Minister of Tertiary Education, Research, Science and Technology, Dr. Douglas Letolatebe. Honorable Minister of Youth Development, Sports and Culture, Mr. Dumso Rakhari. Board of Governors, Professor Bernard Moswela. Managing Director of GUC, Dr. Anthony Joseph. Distinguished guests, graduates, continuing students, parents and guardians, I welcome you all to this great event. God's timing isn't always our timing. He may not work things out the way we had planned, but he's always working things out for the better. The COVID-19 pandemic has really changed the way in which we do things around the world, from our basic routine of way of living to the celebration of big events such as today's event. But dear parents and children here, the day has finally come it is over. We are celebrating our graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment for our completers has come. Let us witness the distribution of certificates, diplomas, and degrees of our graduates. Rest assured, upon documenting the distribution of the certificates, diplomas, degrees, and awards alike, the prescribed guidelines and health protocols as advised by Ministry of Health and Wellness and the COVID-19 task force team have been strictly observed and implemented. I would love to invite Mr. Linus Rangkomo to come and give us the opening prayer of our graduation ceremony. Mr. Linus Rangkomo. For I know well the plans I have in mind for you, plans for your welfare and not for your hope, so as to give you a future of hope. When you call me, I come and pray to me. I will listen to you. When you look for me, you will find me. Yes, when you seek me with all your heart, I will let you find me, and I will change your lot. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Almighty God and ever-living Father, how wonderful are the works of your hands. As we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences, help your dear sons and daughters who are graduating today to remember the blessings that follow them. For this college, which you have given them a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as they take this next step into your world. 
for the ideal lecturers and mentors and college management who have so richly loved and cared for them, even at their worst, for their families who have checked them on the on to the finish line and stood by their sides through the many bumps in the road. And for the government of Botswana, who amidst all challenges, facilitated their learning through sponsorship. And on this day, we thank you for the friends that they have found among their classmates, for all the jokes they will laugh about in years to come, for the hardships and tears they have endured together side by side, and for your love which has been made evident through the relationships they will carry with them beyond these walls. As they face the wounded world of limited opportunities, open their eyes to see you in all things. Grant them opportunities upon opportunities, favor that cannot be measured by human mind, May the sound of our college motto, for God and the country, forever make a joyful sound of inspiration to our graduates, so that they may continue to lay their lives for each other, just as you gave up your life for each one of us. May they love each other fearlessly and seek you with earnest hearts all the days of their lives. May this celebration today become an everlasting gift to you and an indelible memory in their lives. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Giving us our welcoming remarks, we have our Board of Governors, Chairperson, Professor Bernard Moswella. Good morning, everybody. On behalf of the Board of Governors, college management, the staff, and the students' body, I have pleasure in welcome, welcoming you, um, our honorable guest, Dr. Douglas Lisula Tebe. Mr. Tumesarakari and other distinguished guests to our auspicious uh, occasion, the graduation ceremony. Honorable guest speaker, Minister of Youth Development, Sports and Culture, uh, Honorable Mr. Rakari, I know you always have very uh, tight schedules given your very important offices to save the world population. These busy schedules accompany, accompany you even when you are physically out of your offices. We at G GUC very much appreciate your having squeezed time to address the students and staff on their graduation ceremony as commencement speakers. The college has a board of governors whose role is to provide oversight of the general running of the institution, specifically to advise on issues of policy, management, and although their office is specifically dealing with the academic issues, the board does advise. This it does, this it does in consultation with other internal stakeholders of the college. However, educational institutions like GUC are not islands. The internal staff members are not the only stakeholders of the college. The Ministry of Education and Skills Development is a critical partner as well in supporting the students with sponsorship. 
We nevertheless have enjoyed such support over the years, but to some extent and to some students, and we have made some success towards the growth of the college through such support. Honorable Minister of Tertiary Education, Research, Skills, uh, Research Science and uh, Technology, Honorable Lutsula Tebe, in as much as we appreciate Aha, uh -huh, fine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Honorable Minister of Tertiary Education, Research, Science and Technology, Dr. Honorable Lesula Tebe, in as much as we appreciate uh, the shoestring budget with which you operate, partly because of the COVID-19 disease that has uh, despoiled humankind, we nevertheless request that uh, you shouldn't forget us when sharing the likely national cake in order for us to at least float above the water in our effort to provide education to the nation. Let us all pray to God for the disease to dissipate and hope that uh, things will normalize. Success is better achieved through the synergies of many groups of people working together as a collective. It is said that uh, the strength of the lion is in the pride. The support of the ministry, uh, that of tertiary education, research, science, and technology in partnership can be likened to the heart uh, which supplies the rest of the parts of the human body with blood. It stops functioning. If it stops functioning, the rest of the body cannot function. It plays such an important role in the provision of education to educational institutions. We will always embrace such a symbiotic relationship. At least in Africa, the number of private university colleges and private universities far outnumber that of state universities. The state and private universities depend on each other for their success. Chemistry is not something you can create with one skill. It is created when all the different skills come together. Similarly, here at GUC, GUC we, rely, we rely on the support of the government through sponsorship to students to some extent, and the government also can benefit through human resource development by the college. This give and take chemistry is critical in education. The more this kind of support comes together, the more the country will develop. We at GUC, therefore, cannot do it alone as, private, as a private sector. To succeed in our endeavor to provide education, we need your support. The college has grown in state over the years. I personally, as the maiden chairperson of the board, seen it grow from infancy into adolescence and towards adulthood. It is 16 years in this business, and today celebrating its 13th graduating ceremony. It has celebrated this day without fail since its inception, except in 2020, because of the COVID-19 disease. Because of the same, we are not able to celebrate it physically this year. Honorable guest speakers, graduate ceremonies are not being celebrated just for the fun of it. They are not a fashion. They are celebrated, recognized the hard work and achievement by both the students and the lecturers who facilitate their learning. 
and the institutions management who provide the needed resources, all these partners matter in the success of the students' edu education. Although the students are the center of uh, the education as recipients of the certificates. To this extent, I want to congratulate the students uh, to have made it in their toil, some for many years. You deserve it, and you are the reason we are all focusing our attention to this day through this uh, distance mode. Cherish this day, it is your day, and how happy you are, lecturers, to see your products, uh, hard work becoming fruitful. Honorable guest speaker, the college offers courses that are accredited accredited and are taught by lecturers that are qualified in the areas they teach. Certificate courses are taught by lecturers that, uh, that hold at least a diploma qualification. Diploma courses are taught by at least degree holders, and first degree courses are taught by lecturers with master's qualification. And master's degree are taught by those with doctorate qualification. We are partners, we are partners to educational institutions such as Midland State University in Zambia, Open University, Liz Bucket University, and Creso University in Zambia in the offering of first and second degree programs and some diploma programs as a as a quality assurance measure. I wish all the above mentioned um, critical partners, I wish, I wish all the above mentioned critical partners were here with us today to celebrate this special event. Above all, I wish the graduates a happy and enjoyable day in, celebrate, in celebrating. Let us not forget that we are not yet out of the woods. The pandemic is still with us. Let us all observe all protocols against COVID-19 by washing and sanitizing our hands, masking our mouth and noses, and delivering or, de or observing social distance. Honorable ministers, invited guests, staff and students and their families. On behalf of the Board of Governors, I thank you in no small measure for your participation in this event. Thank you very much. So we have the Managing Director of GUC, Dr. Anthony Joseph, here to give the Director's remarks. All protocol observed. Greetings to you all. It is always a great pleasure and joy to receive you at our juicy occasions like today's graduation ceremony. This is our 13th graduation ceremony since our college was independently accredited by the then Bota and TEC to offer technical, vocational education and training, that is TVET, and tertiary level programs. We are pleased to see you all at this occasion because in this graduation ceremonies, you represent a cross section of our stakeholders involving government, the private sector, learners and their parents, sponsors, partners, institutions from within and from outside Botswana, professional and regulatory bodies, different leaders and our students and staff community. This is therefore a day that we must showcase our work and our worth to the nation as well as give all of you our progress report. Director of Ceremonies, Honorable Ministers and Senior Officials here present, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Since our first graduation ceremony, we have always ensured that 
Our graduation ceremonies are addressed by high level government leaders. This is because we see our work as a complementary to that of government in education and training, and also in order to allow government ministers and senior officials to use this occasion to advise us on matters of policy and the strategy of education and training going on forward. Our maiden graduation ceremony, for instance, conducted in August 2008, was officiated by the late President of the Republic of Botswana, Sakitimele O.J. Masire, as the then former president. Then, we had only 19 students at certificate level to graduate. In today's graduate ceremony, we have over 3,700 students graduating at the certificate, diploma, and degree levels, marking a 195 times growth since 2008. I am happy to, I'm happy too that we have a number of masters students who will be graduating in postgraduate studies in early childhood education and public health and occupational health and safety programs in our near future. Director of Ceremonies, from guidance given to us on the government policies and programs as captured in Visions 2016 and 2036, previous and the current National Development Plan 11, the speeches from your presidencies who officiated at ceremonies like this, we have made sure that GUC programs are both demand-driven, relevant, and compliant to quality students, quality, sorry, quality standards set by BQA, HRDC, and emerging professional bodies. We even gone outside to use like of EPSA in the South African Engineering Regulatory Body to argue, to augment and ensure the quality of our engineering programs. Indeed, we have kept very close to the government leadership so that we are fully guided. For example, we have our previous guests of honor as including Minister Fredless Malau, then Minister of Agriculture, Minister of Naka Naka, Minister Naka Naka, then Minister of Tertiary Education, Research, Science and Technology, Minister Dr. Alfred Madihele, Minister of Education, Minister, of, Minister Vincent T. Seretse, then Minister of Trade and Industry, Minister Unity Dow, then the Minister of Education, and Minister Edwin Jovasu, then Minister of Labor and Home Affairs, among others. Honorable Ministers and our guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am mentioning the previous names of these ministers, not to show off, but to emphasize our approach to reach out to the government leadership for guidance, and we are grateful that they came and generally, generously shared with us and our graduates on development goals and direction of the country's development. Allow me to also underscore that in every one of our past graduate ceremonies, we have made sure that both the BQA and HRDC are represented at the highest possible level. Our policy is to be transparent in everything we do. Our governance structures and student policies and, pro and processes are equally transparent. Director of ceremonies, our open and transparent way of business has earned us respect and cordial relationship with the government regulatory bodies and our stakeholders. It is not just GUC, of course, which has over the year established and enjoyed this cordial and productive and relationships with our leaders, supervisors, and partners. All public and private tertiary institutions have benefited in different ways as well. It is cordial, non-antagonistic relationships that helped our tertiary education subsector to make major strides in the period of the decade from 2005 to 2015. During this decade, several policies and strategies were developed and approved by the government, including TI 2008, HRD Strategy 2009, Training Levy 2011, the National Qualifications and Credit Framework, NQCF 2012. Registration and Recognition Regulations were passed by passed and implemented by regulatory bodies and ETPs. During 
the 2005 to 2015, the new system was able to stop the export of education to countries like Malaysia and South Africa, which cost government a lot of money. The system was also able to oversee quality assurance and by supporting sponsorship to private institutions, created jobs and continued, contributed to economic growth. Above all, the system created a healthy and integrative relationship between public and private tertiary institutions as lecturers, crisscross institutions, retiring offices of Minister of Education and regulatory bodies join private tertiary institutions as lecturers, administrators, governors, and etc. etc. Director of Ceremonies, I have gone a bit of tangent from the core business of today's graduation ceremony but I definitely in needed to do so. To this audience, our graduates are highly sought after in any various employees, employees as our programs well suited to meet the varying needs of the job market. This is the evidence by majority of them getting hired even before they graduate. Our recent uh, tracer study revealed that GUC graduates currently occupy high positions in different in in industries, businesses, and departments, both in the public and private sectors. It should, be, it should be a matter of pride for all of us to have an institution that has developed so well since its establishment in 2006, especially as an, in as an institution that was largely supported by self-sponsored students in its uh, infant stage before the government recognized its progress and development and began to sponsor the students to each in 2011. At the time of taking over GUC in 2006, the college did not have any accredited program. Our first program to be accredited was certificate in law. We committed ourselves to turn the college around into a repertory tertiary institution to date, we have three master's programs, 14 degree programs, 21 diploma programs, 38 certificate programs, and 122 short courses accredited. As I pointed out earlier, our programs are spread in health, law, and security, business, and commerce, engineering, and education learning fields. Currently, GUC has six branches across Botswana, four in Habroni, one in Francistown and one in Mopane. The Mopane campus is a state of the art engineering wing and it was officiated, op officially opened by his owner, the Vice President of the Republic of Botswana, Mr. Slumber Sokwani, in February 2020. The engineering campus offers a variety of specialized vocational programs related to construction, plumbing, mechanics, electronics, and many more. This campus is indeed to empower the youth of Botswana within the necessary skills to penetrate industri industries that require technical skills or even become self-employed and ultimately become employees of themselves. UC has always a sister college by name Habroni Commercial College of Higher Studies situated in Independence Avenue, Main Mall. A massive expansion of our programs and enrollment patterns have necessitated a corresponding increase in the staffing at, staffing. at present, UC employs 182 academic and 50 non-academic staff. The quality of our programs is an important factor that contributes to the employability of our graduates. To this end, we continue to seek partnership with other leading universities we have signed a memorandum of agreement with the Leeds Bucket University to offer their bachelor's degree in the law LLB. We are also in partnership with the Sambia Open University and Croso University also. We also have a long-standing and professional relationship with the Midland State University. I take this opportunity to, ladies and gentlemen, to put on record that our association with the Midland State University has been quite beneficial as we learn a lot from them, both academically and professionally. Affiliations with other institutions have been of immense value to us as we are well on the way to achieving the vision we set for ourselves when we started. Director of Ceremonies, we have great plans for this institution, the most important being to upgrade Gabroni University College of Law and Professional Studies to a fully-fledged university.
This will entail many reforms, such as addition of a number of new job markets or in the programs from the degree to doctorate levels, increase in the number of faculties as well as staff in seeking to balance its resources. The institution will also examine ways of increasing its non-government in income through better marketing of its programs and facilities and from increased professional development courses, workshops and seminars. The institution is also re reorientating itself towards the use of ICT in teaching and learning. We have adopted an online learning platform as well as e-library data bases to enable our students to learn wherever they are. Director of Ceremonies, we took over our sister college, Gavroni Commercial College of Higher Studies in 2005. There, are, there we offer mainly business programs such as human resource management, public relations, purchasing and supply management to mention but a few. I would take, I would like to thank the government of Botswana and all its ministries, especially Minister of Tertiary Education for its confidence in GUC through the sponsorship program despite the difficult economic situation. This sense of confidence in GUC has been in invaluable and I wish to thank the government for its contribution despite the many challenging periods it has faced in the recent past. I'm grateful that it has remained strong and steadfast in its support for the institution. UC could not have come this far and will not be able to go far into the future. This is why it is so vital for the institution to continue demonstrating its worth and for the staff members to work heroically with management in their efforts in transforming the institution to a fully pledged university in the near future. The success of the university has been the result committed and dedicated members of the staff. And I would like to thank Professor Lee for that. I salute every member of the GUC family from the Board of Governors to management and the academy and administrative staff for setting up quality parameters in teaching, research and administrative responsibilities. I would like to congratulate all of those students graduating today. You have worked hard and your parents, families, the government and sponsors have sacrificed much to get you here. You carry the flag of a unique institution. We wish you the best for the future. Make the institution proud by being its loyal ambassadors through your contributions, especially by being hardworking, innovative, committed, and ethical in your future work and leadership. I invite you to like a kind of interest in your college as we all join hands to contribute to the development of this beautiful nation. I urge you graduates of today to pick up the torch from this moment onwards and illuminate your path towards your own success and the successes of your fellow countrymen. The onus is upon you to raise your own weapon using the weapon you carried here today, your certificate. Let us take action together to build on the ideals and legacy of those that went before us so as to create a better future for all Botswana and build an enduring home for all. Together, we will be victorious. Congratulations, proud graduates. And remember, learning gives creativity. Creativity leads to thinking. Thinking provides knowledge. Knowledge makes you greater. Let me remind the education, graduates that education is an endless journey through knowledge and enlightenment. So can you and be called lifelong learners. Thank you and God bless you all. I would love to invite Dr. Patrick Mulugin to come and give an introduction of our chief guest, Remulipi. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable ministers here present, distinguished guests, members of the regulatory bodies, BQA, Botswana Qualifications Authority, Human Resource Development Council, and other distinguished institutions responsible for tertiary education. Honorable ministers, I am standing here as the deputy chair of the governing board of Khaburone 
University College of Law and Professional Studies. My name is Patrick Moluzzi. I have the honor to present to you our guest speaker for today, Dr. Honorable Douglas Lesolatebe, who is the Minister of Tertiary Education, Research, Science and Technology, and the Member of Parliament for Tati East Constituency. Honorable Lesola Tebe was appointed to head the Minister, Ministry of Tertiary Education, Research and Technology in November 2019. His portfolio mandate within the ministry is to provide and build knowledge and innovation through development and implementation of policy on tertiary education, research, science and technology in order to transform Botswana's economy through harnessing of knowledge to enhance processes that optimizes value of natural resources through effective stakeholder participation. The Ministry of Tertiary Education, Research, Science and Technology is also responsible for policy on student financing, tertiary education institutions, and coordinating research and technology development in the country. The Honorable Dr. Lesola Tebe is a seasoned scholar in his own right, whose experience and offerings cover secondary school experience as well as tertiary education. He holds a PhD in physics acquired from the University of Botswana, a master's in science, and a Bachelor of Education, both obtained from the same University of Botswana. The Honorable Minister was a prolific researcher who published extensively and internationally in the area of material science with special expertise in thin film fabrication. He has also played various roles associated with a researcher of his caliber in the peer review and mentorship space. Honorable Dr. Lesola Tewe's vision is to transform tertiary education so as to ensure that there is transparency and quality for both funding and accreditation within the national credit qualification framework. He aspires for a Botswana with an energized research and innovation community that begins to generate knowledge and intellectual property that will usher new industries characterized by various elements of the fourth industrial revolution pursuits that will include the internet of things, solar of things, as well as beneficiation of the country's endowment in natural resources. To this end, he sees the need for a transformed technical cadre that will serve a smart and entrepreneurial Botswana. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present the Honorable Minister. I thank you. Director of Ceremonies, Minister, uh, Honorable Minister of Youth, Sport and Culture, Mr. Tumi Sorakari, senior officials from different government uh, ministries and departments, representatives of Business Botswana, uh, members of the Botswana Qualification Authority and the Human Resource Development Council, officials from GUC, uh, partner universities from Midland State University in Zimbabwe, uh, Cheso University, Zambia, and Zambian Open University, officials from public and private universities and colleges from Botswana, the GUC Board of Governors and Management, the Managing Director of GUC, Dr. Anthony uh, P. Joseph, distinguished guests, staff of GUC, parents, continuing students, ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly, uh, graduates. And the old media houses here present, uh, good morning, everyone. It gives me a great pleasure to be with you here today at this yet another August occasion 
to recognize, congratulate, and give our best wishes uh, of the graduating class of GUC different certificates, diplomas, first degrees, and postgrad uh, programs. It is a great honor to be invited to officiate at this graduation ceremony, which is a milestone achieved in the history of Kaburu University a College of Law and Professional Studies and to graduates, their families and friends. Director of Ceremonies, ladies and gentlemen, I am informed that this is the 13th graduation ceremony of GUC since its establishment in 2006. This reflects the institution's sustained effort and commitment to the human resource development pillar of Botswana as articulated in the Vision 2036. The National Development Plan 11 and lately the research agenda of His Excellency Dr. Mkwezi Eric Kiabeti Masisi, the President of the Republic of Botswana. As the Minister responsible for tertiary education, research science and technology, I am particularly pleased to see learners graduating every year from both our public and private universities, um, colleges and institutes. My government has from the beginning uh, made its policy to call on the private sector to play a complementary role in the development of women capital of this country. We are therefore pleased as government that the private sector has from all levels of education and training headed this call and partnered with government in the provision of education and early, um, at early childhood education, primary, secondary, post-secondary, and tertiary as well um, as provision of education to special education needs um, of population uh, in our country. It is our desire and commitment as government that this partnership between the government and the private sector is flourished, sustained and maintained into a long-term future. The provision of school infrastructure by private schools and colleges has saved the government the cost of building and running such schools itself. This is why the tertiary level government has decided to sponsor learners to institutions like GUC and many others. So we recognize and appreciate your contribution, not only in producing human resource, but the jobs and general services and taxes that your business give to our economic development effort. Let me take this opportunity to encourage you to stick to, how, to high standards of quality, to remain relevant in your offerings and work closely with the standards and requirements set by our regulatory bodies and of Botswana Qualification Authority and the Human Resource Development Council, the HRDC. The quality standards are global and important for the competitiveness of our graduates as they seek employment abroad. I know sometimes implementing these standards appear harsh, but I urge you all to keep your eyes on the ball and you will reach there. Director of Ceremonies, as you are aware that through the vision, um, um, the vision 2036, the government of Botswana is committed to transforming this country uh, into a knowledge-based economy. The role of the universities and colleges remains critical in this transformation. I therefore want to caution the management and board of GUC to observe quality through a review of curricula so that it meets industry needs, through regular consultation, with industry so that graduates are relevant to the world of work and to implement practical components so as to address the knowledge and skills, uh, and skills gaps in the market. Whilst we might be rejoicing to graduate the number of graduates that we have today, it is also critical for this institution to take keen interest on the rate of absorption of these graduates in the job market. The rate of unemployment of your graduates will measure um, of would be a measure of the quality of your graduates and that you produce from the university college. This therefore calls for this university and others to conduct tracer studies, which will help them to reshape their programs and delivery methods in order to meet the standards of industry as I have already indicated. Director of Ceremonies, ladies and gentlemen, it is also important to note that the industry will never employ all these graduates. That is all the reason why institutions like yours should keep graduates with skills, which will assist them uh, to establish their own businesses, thereby creating more jobs for others, rather than looking up uh, to government for jobs. The job market 
of today requires people with a positive attitude, those who are not afraid of falling or failing and turning failure um, to success. It is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you do not try anything. As you join the labor force, do not hesitate to invent new ways of doing things. Fear is primarily a creation of the mind. It does not necessarily, it does not really exist outside the mind. Once you defeat fear, you will discover your potential. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, let me thank the learners who have worked so hard over the years to become today's graduates. We thank you for, for focusing on your studies and being able to graduate today. Without your individual personal efforts, we will not be gathered here today. today. Congratulations. Please keep the hard work as you enter another stage in your lives and progress into next stages of your careers. I want to thank your parents and families uh, too for giving you all the support and space to study. This is how we should work in every sphere of our lives.
What would an event be without entertainment? We have a wonderful poet here today with us to come and grace our event. Kenere Otwe. Arma Mugheleni. Otwe Otwe. Mwamo ya kumpo. Otwe Otwe. 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 Ot Tati la wumpia kwenye tachia pereta lola puti kwenye tachia lebe ya mahetse mputi kwenye tachia putete mahoko. Kwenye tachia putete mahoko kati vili tuwe kwenye maro na kwenye vili tuwe kiji yusi. Iri na musima nyana tabo gala kakwa na musima nyana tabo gala kakwa na kata tila humpia kwa raipela. Ripele ala tati la ba itudi. Are tati le kile ala taba tati le kile ala taba kwa tabi le ala matato la ala matato la ripelo pelo tsa rona tsa soui hala taba tsa rona di soui tso tse. Ka hu putegi le di chaba chaba hu putegi le ba protege hu putegi le rara kare. Aba ata le rele tso la tabe rele tso la tabe ka ele ena o ka metze mba yi tuto. Ara are tsa ma ere tsa me ra abi tsoa kwa ka tati le hu mpie kwa chaba wana ba protege ba ntse ba ntse ngane ba akalala. Lotola ni mosisi haga makati maronto to mosisi hoki le mwa lachu ya chie kumo maloba. Chie yu si ho kumo tunyana mmadi kumo lebele la kumo le teti di rope. Ka ye le teti di hobo ye sahama. Lebele la kumo le teti di rope le nse ma paka paka ye le teti di hobo ye sahama. Ye tswa yi da takwa apala ka hamo le me. Ya ba ya tswa yi wa mosiru pindi taka ya horo khala ya kwa la di riji yu si. Ya kama kira Anthony, ya kama kira Anthony, wewe kama ana le remo shala kwa remo shala wa ba ebe hatu kwa nza kwa tela hicho na mani kwa anyala. Ba ya kama siwa bosi le ba kama siwa bosi le sana kupoka mashaya na atali juu tu ba atali unkote ni kolo. Ba umela ma kukaba iwe ma dila ba iti ba na na ba tatu ha ba iti taka one kera hui seta ba iti tika sebele bebe. Je usi umaro na uritu ni sisi mela pole mela tswana. Uri tuli sita mela tuwa le mela tuwa na. Li huto re le bo hile enre bo hile la mu titi niti se pa la jipata. Le ha di pule di kana ma toro toro haro wa yana wa aro na. Uri tuli sita mela po le mela tuwa na kata tili ya humpie kwa ba iti kiti wa choma ba iti kubia se kwa ba iti tuli sita le hati la bo tuwa na. Hula ha bo tuwa na ya apana la ya papa sala kuko zene za le hati. Uputi la di chaba chaba maro na waba wa ichan na jia hubona. Uputila di chaba chaba wa ichwane la maro na Kara wana wa puti mba puti akane wa puti wala di khang Di khang ba di guya mba di guya kawena Ba kata ba 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 kata ka ba wa piala kwa ma ba kwa ma ka di toho Ba kwa ma ka di toho Ba le di ba reke sale ki nsi ki li tile ki li tile tuito le se di pone sa di chaba Ba mwa ke se ba 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 yungwa di toho ba rolondra ba rolele se be ba ma khala ji yu isi kata so peri ba ra horo khe Kana kwa bo kala kaba kala katla kha pelo tsa bane di kala katla kha ka bo itumelo kwa tswa po marata di ka tswa po tsetlala le di huma ka thuto le sedi thuto le sedi pone sa di chaba pone sa di tsela tsa bo tshelo pone sa di tsela tsa bo tshelo banana lo se thanya lo mapolo le sebe banana ba ha neng go retse di khakollo go lo ba go tsa mangwe matuwa ko go dina o nyana go dina o tsa thaka e khweba ba ra neng go retse melao ya batsadi Mela obara yitia wa mano. Batante lo ma polo le tebe. Ketla olo belo osile nchata di polo banana ako li kwa tae lebo ele mwarago tuito le se di di tenka chupa. Wa cho uke hano kata tira humpio kwa cha kaola ki ala sa ki kyo kolo ra ekere. Tuito le se di 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 tenka chupa na lo se kala sala mwarago nchua mwarago nchua. Poko jua mwarago to ta nchua di abe di mwane lo mkukule wa tuana ki a kaola ki ala sa. We have a special prize-giving ceremony for our top achievers. Let us witness it.
We have a speech by our Student Representative Council President, Mr. Kenneth Mokoro, also a graduate of this event. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall be grateful, more thankful that we are all alive on this momentous day. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kenneth Mpomukhor. I was the Student Representative Council President for the two graduating classes, and I greet you all. First and foremost, let me express our great appreciation to the government of our country for affording us the opportunity to shape our future through education. The GUC management for being patient with us as we travel the tough academic journey. And lastly, uh, I would like to thank those lecturers whom were able to accommodate our cultural diverse values and attitude and behavior to make sure that we achieve our academic purpose in GUC. We, are, we really recognize your values in our lives. My fellow graduates, we have made it, you have made it. It's a milestone we have been dreaming about since basic education. And today we are honoring you. We are celebrating your huge accomplishment as a family, as an institution, and as a country. We are proud of you. The same spirit which enabled us to sail through all the hard waves, we shall use it again to face the reality of life. What I have learned is, if you are determined to reach a goal and you focus your attention and efforts towards it, you will reach it no matter what challenges you face. A diploma, a certificate, or a bachelor's degree are all a launching point, projecting us to wherever our future are meant to take us. Whether we lend ourselves a career, take trade, or continue with education. Today, we are qualified as health and safety officers, public and health uh, specialists, purchasing officers, early childhood teachers, and other professions I have not mentioned. The truth of the matter is, the job market may not have space to accommodate all of us at once. So, we must create jobs for ourselves. That's the only way to go these days. Let us take responsibility of our life and face the situation as it is. Remember, globally, economies have been affected by a COVID-19 pandemic. It, it calls for young innovative minds like us to reignite the economy through innovation and creativity. As I reach my conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say this to the 2020 and 2021 graduating classes. Let us create networks through which we share information on opportunities arising in the industry. The time for competition has passed. It is, it is now time for cooperation, collaboration, and networking as GUC graduates. Uh, in whatever cap capacities we shall be, let us shine, raise the name of the institution, this will open opportunities for, our, for others and also for us. It is us who make our institution great. And let me say this, all those that will be having some mini celebration with friends and family, can you kindly adhere to COVID-19 protocols as you do that? We still need you, the nation still needs you, and your family is still looking upon you to change their livelihood. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. I wish to invite Mr. Mohoto Kiwahamang to come and introduce one of our chief guests. Thank you. I, I greet you all this morning. My role is a very brief one here to introduce one of the important guests this morning. And I would also say all protocol observed in the interest of time. I am here to introduce uh, Honorable Timiso McDonald Rakhari, who is the Member of Parliament for Mohoditsani constituency. Mr. Rakhari, as we may all be aware, is also the Minister for Youth Empowerment, Sports and Culture. This is uh, a man whose background is elaborate. He has a bachelor of degree in business administration from the University of Botswana. 
He has recently completed his master's degree from the same university in entrepreneurship. Uh, Mr. Rakhari was appointed student peer ambassador for sports and culture at the University of Botswana in 2010. He plays uh, a role in assisting a number of non-governmental organizations in his constituency and in the country at large. During his days at the University of Botswana, he was elected the SRC president, SRC Student Representative Council during his era there. That is from 2009. Mr. Rakhari, Honorable Rakhari, is an avid participant of the popular annual Matolapata Games, both as a player and as a volunteer. He is an active member of the community in his uh, constituency and in Botswana at large. Welcome, Honorable Minister Rakhar. Thank you. Director, Director of Ceremonies, Honorable Minister of Tertiary Education, Research, Science and Technology, Dr. Datlas Letsola Tebe, GUC Board Chairperson, Professor Mosuela, and your board. The Managing Director of GUC, Dr. Anthony Joseph. Senior Government Officials, Representatives of Business Botswana. Members of Botswana Qualifications Authority. Members of Human Resources Development Council. Officials from GUC partner universities from Midlands State University in Zimbabwe. Sheso University and Zambian Open University. Officials from public and private universities and colleges from Botswana, distinguished guests, staff of GUC, parents, men and women of the moment, graduates, continuing students, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, greetings to you all. It gives me great pleasure to be with you here today at this yet another special occasion to recognize, congratulate, and give our best wishes to the graduating class of GUC's different certificates, diplomas, first degrees, and postgraduate programs. Once again, I wish to express my delight for being chosen to give remarks at this graduating ceremony of Khaboron University College of Law and Professional Studies. I have a long and close friendly association with GUC and its managing director, Dr. Anthony P. Joseph. Those of you who may not have the privilege of knowing Dr. Joseph's background, I wish to share a bit and share that Anthony's first station in Botswana on arrival from India was Moshopa Senior Secondary School, where he was stationed as a mathematics teacher many, many years ago. He taught there for many years, and it was during those years that he developed an intimate relationship with Bakhatla Baham Manan. Since then, he has given generously to different courses and development projects in Mushopa, Tamaha, and surrounding areas. Of course, through GUC, he has helped different communities around the whole of Botswana, focusing mainly on the needy, destitutes, people living with disabilities, academia, and the sports fraternity. We met officially for the first time at the prize giving ceremony for Bolsena Primary School in 2014. I had been invited to officiate at the ceremony in my capacity as alumni, while Dr. Joseph was invited as guest of honor since he had adopted the school. When Dr. Joseph took to the podium to deliver his speech, he realized that some of the people in attendance may not be able to grasp what he was about to share. He then requested me to translate on his behalf and I acceded to the request. Sadly for me, I'm yet to get his feedback on how I did. Nonetheless, I gave my all. I've kept in touch with him since then. On behalf of all of us, I wish to thank you, uh, Dr. Joseph. Thank you so much, and may God bless you. As the Minister responsible for Youth Empowerment, Sports and Culture Development, I keep close interest, and I, on events of what is going on in our public and private tertiary education institutions. Not only because they host around 100,000 plus 
young people at a go, but also because it is in these institutions that we have a potential to be globally competitive in sports, arts, culture, and in intellectual property. I therefore wish to employ you as institutions of higher learning to partner with us as a ministry to drive our mandate. Director of Ceremonies, institutions of higher learning such as GUC serve as training field on leadership. It is at this institutions, it is at this institution and others that young people learn about leadership norms, ethics, responsibility, and accountability. Perhaps I should share that I am a former UBSRC president. Myself and those I served the student community with, and those who came before us all went through the leadership meal during their time as student leaders. I know many politicians in both the ruling party and opposition parties, they learned their politics as student leaders. I accepted the invitation to give closing remarks at this graduation ceremony, not only because I appreciate and value GUC's contribution in preparing our young people for the world of work, but also because the college has done a lot in grooming student leaders through the SRC. I'm told that the, the college generously supports students' sporting activities and has a partnership with soccer clubs outside Khaburoni as their sponsor. It is my sincere hope that other tertiary institutions would emulate GUC by supporting the youth in different sporting codes and the creative industry as that would go a long way in placing Botswana among other globally competitive giants. Director of Ceremonies, let me join the previous speakers in congratulating the 2020 and 2021 graduating classes. Believe you me, we are proud of you and best wishes in your future endeavors. I'm happy that you finished your courses through some of, though some of you may wish to further their studies to gain more knowledge. As you graduate, you will now possess skills which you must use in the world of work. With what you learned, you can now begin to research and publish to fine tune your skills in art and sport and create opportunities to earn a living for yourselves and your families. With those remarks, I thank you for your attention and once more congratulate all of you for the hard work. Finally, it is my singular honor to declare this graduation ceremony officially closed. Amudimu now we have Dr. Ubeng Chibaro to come and give our vote of thanks for today's event. Director of Ceremony, Honorable Minister of Tertiary Education, Research, Science and Technology, Honorable Dr. Lichula Tebe, Honorable Minister of Youth Development, Sports and Culture, Mr. Tumiso Rakari, Senior officials from the different government ministries and departments, the Board of Governors and Management, and the staff of GUC, distinguished guests, parents, graduates, continuing students, ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you all. It is my pleasure to be here to express our profound gratitude to all of you for attending this auspicious occasion of the 13th graduation ceremony of the Haboroni University College of Law and Professional Studies and the sister institution, Habron Commercial College of Higher Studies. First, to our chief guest, Minister of Tertiary Education, Research, Science and Technology, Honorable Dr. Litsula Tebe, say, we are immensely grateful to you for taking time off your busy schedule to grace this momentous occasion in the history of these two institutions, which stand to complement the efforts of the Botswana government in educating its people. I express my sincere thanks to the Honorable Minister of Youth Development, Sports and Culture, Mr. Tumiso Rakari, for gracing the occasion with your esteemed presence and helping us to celebrate this joyous occasion. We are really humbled. I express my profound gratitude to the representatives from the different ministries and government departments for accepting our invitation, for the support we are getting from them let me take this opportunity to congratulate all the graduates. I remind you that your graduation is a milestone in your life, and this is not the end, but the starting point of a long journey ahead. 
with, without you, this occasion would have been impossible. I congratulate you as well as thank you on behalf of GUC. Be active, take on responsibility, work for the things you believe in. If you do not, you are surrendering your fate to others. I thank all the members of the GUC Board of Governors and the GUC Directors for a job well done. You are the engine that keeps our institution running and we thank you heartily. Well, ladies and gentlemen, an event like this cannot happen overnight. The wheels started rolling some months ago. GUC is fortunate to be backed by a team of very motivated and dedicated staff members. To the staff members, I say well done and continue with the team spirit. I also wish to express my grat gratefulness to the entire community for its support. We are really indebted to you for the trust and support which you are placing in us. Finally, it won't be complete without thanking the directors of ceremony for the job well done. I would have loved to express our thanks and gratitude to many other people and bodies that continue to support assist GU and assist GUC. But due to time constraints, I am unable to. Please accept my apologies if I have omitted anybody, but please be assured that we are indeed grateful. Thank you all. Pula. Having started the event with a prayer, it is only fit for us to close it off with a prayer. Mr. Ola is here to give us our closing prayer for the event. We thank the Lord for today's program. It had been a very wonderful program. We thank you for your presence. All protocols observed. We thank the Lord once again. Let me quickly read from the book of Psalm 23. The Lord is our shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He lets me be beside peaceful streams. He renews our strength. He guides us along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when we walk through the darkest valley, we will not be afraid, for you are close beside us. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort us. You prepare a feast for us in the presence of our enemies. You honor us by anointing our head with oil. Our cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love, O oh Lord, we pursue all, all of us, all the days of our lives, and we will live in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you once again for your love, for making this day a reality, for this is the day that you have made, O oh Lord. Thank you for the success of today's program. Thank you for the safe arrival, and thank you for the successful completion of this program. We commit all our graduates of today to your hand as they will live in this place. Father, we pray that you make a way for those still waiting upon you to find a place of work. And those that are already working, you will prefer that which concerns them in the name of Jesus. We pray for the nation Botswana, the sponsor of most of the students. May you, O oh Lord, continue to empower them and make them to do more. And also for these graduates, to be able to serve this nation with all their hearts, with all their souls, and with their, all their minds. Thank you, Father, for all our guests. Father, continue to perfect that which concerns them. In the name of Jesus, our honorable guests, ministers, and all other people that have been invited for this program, we pray as we believe in this place, Lord, grant us your journey mercies, so that any time we remember this day, your name be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Arunkin <laughs> 
Kibata hubana hore matsapadi a tsa ka ya matsapadi a tsa ka ya itsile hatse gala tswa gala tshisha tshe ga ya lala e robetse e jang ngwana le bogolo ke khonya pe marapo a thata ke khonya pe marapo a thata ya tlhaka tlhaka ntse le hatse di tsala ra ra botsana dipotswa dipotswa na mafara tlhatlha matso di matso ke kwa bopiri ma botse ka botlhaba ra tlhabega dipilo ra botsana dipotso dipotswa na mafara tlhatlha matso di matso ke ra o pela dipina batho ba tlhama dipina ba re corona covid 19 ni motlhokisi ya boroko ke la tlile bola ka makuku ana ka tsa khomo ke la tlile bola ka makuku ana ka tsa khomo irile ke bola tlhatsa re silumi se tlhotlhomise se la lang se tlhotlhoma se se lo mang se se ka kwa tense ja se se ka kwa ntle tsare tlola no ka tlola no ka re le ntwa kholo ntwa kholo rolo ya mo shate ga hore no ka ga matlala ga ya atala ya tlhatsitse wa bo bone ka eng ka ke bone ka nna magogodi a no ka go ipopa TS go ngwana ba re tsa tila go mpie kolo a bana le hatsele hedile le hatseletsene ka motlhobo dika go tsire no ga kholo khwanya pe tlhagile e runtse moseje o le wa mawatle e runtse se ka se runya e runtse moseje wa chaya eng ga ja ka na tedi o motona nyana ntshitse bo hola tshaba tso thera ba ra ka ba ding kwa le molomo ra sala re ntse ka le tshogo go lo e go itseng e sadisa dikhutsa na ba sadisa ba thwala ga di le hatsela sa ba le tobekane mo hama wa itshwela ro ba phupha makaletsa tsi di tsa ba re tshusen re itshware ba thong ka di ba mpitsi ke tla bo gelo be ro pitsi ke tla bo gelo be ro ke e go kenta ke e go tsama ke ntwa ke thibile selo ke se se heditse le hatse le hatseletse ne ka motlhobo di ka tota ra tla la ri rileng tsa tsile go mpie ko re ne ri pela covid 19 ne re ne re go swabisa re go tsa ka maranyane re go tsa re le khakala ri ikopanya ri le di tshaba tshaba re re bo ela mo ra go ha o ka tswa tshala hore re sepetsa tsile tlhabile tsa tsile tlhabile la gore re go kobe le khakala re go kharabeletse khakala khakala mo simeng wa motlhobo di ka re go tlhobose pula di na matsorotsoro di ne tlatse nkhono ha pore pula di na matsorotsoro di go kharabeletse khakala go na merwalela di go kharabeletse khakala re tle re re ke re tla bo ga re tla go ga lo bilo re ja mo karagana re karaganya sekana mane ha le tlhabula covid 19 di ne mo tlhokisa boroko tsa mela khakala tsa tsile go mpie ko ra ipela ja khaola ke ale we have come to the end of our program thank you i would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who unselfishly cooperated and participated in the undertaking of this year's GUC graduation virtual ceremony. Now remember, graduates and continuing students, success is not final, failure is not fatal, but it is the courage to continue that counts. Thank you.